My name is Chitibana Banabas and I'm from Luapla province, representing in the category of physics and renewable energy. Under this year's theme, promoting innovation and engineering, accelerating STEM growth and development. The title of my innovation is a solar pumped hydro storage system. This system, it is where we are trapping sun rays and then using it to pump water from a lower reservoir to a higher reservoir. Since the law of conservation states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be transformed from one form to the other. So we are using hydraulic energy, which is stored in the water, and then that same hydraulic energy, we are using it when it passes through the penny stock, it is able to spin the generator, and the generator is the one which is going to, which is going to produce electricity. So why are we using this system? This system is able to store a large amount of energy that we need for the nation, for us, for us to have an efficient supply of electricity. It is using solar energy, and then the solar energy, it is stored, the energy is stored in the battery. In the daytime, we can use the same energy to supply to the individual houses, like I have included. So energy in the daytime will be supplied to the individual houses, and it will also be used for the pumping system. We can install this system in Zambia, since we already have the three dams that I have chosen myself. The Kafiwe Gorge Upper, the Kafiwe Gorge Lower, and the Itezitezi Dam. The water from the Kafiwe Gorge Upper depends on the water from Itezitezi Dam. And the water from Kafiwe Gorge Lower depends on the water from Kafiwe Gorge Upper. So we may come up with a pumping system on the outlet of the Kafiwe Gorge Lower Dam. So when we come up with that system, it will be supplied, the energy will be supplied by the solar. So the solar energy, the energy from the solar will be used for the pumping system on the Kafiwe Gorge Lower Dam, pumping water to the Kafiwe Gorge Upper Dam. And by so doing, we are both increasing the storage system of solar energy, and we are also boosting up hydroelectric power station, since the volume of water in the dam will increase. Now, on the setup, we have to make sure that the solar energy, the solar, are installed on the water, on top of the water, so that we reduce the loss of water by evaporation. But the question is, we cannot pump all the water back into the dam, upper dam. There are people who depend on the same water for irrigation and also for drinking, and also the animals which are nearby. So we have to let go some of the water so that it can go, it can continue flowing. By so doing, we are more like sustainability. We are promoting sustainability and the sustainable of our environment, the sustainability of the environment. Yes. So this project is carbon emission free. When I say so, because it does not produce any carbon and it does not contribute to carbon emission, which can cause acid rain and also climate change. Like in Zambia right now, as I'm saying, we are experiencing climate change. This year, we didn't have adequate rainfall. And that has impacted us both economically and socially because the water levels in the dams have decreased. Like in the Kafiwe Gorge, Kafiwe Gorge and the Kariba, Kariba, Kariba North Bank, the water levels have decreased. And that has impacted the production of electricity. But using this system, it makes sure that water is being managed properly and it enhances energy security. The way it enhances energy security, it is because it increases the volume of water in the upper dam. And then that same volume of water will be used to produce the adequate and the right amount of electricity that we, knew we want to use as a country. Because in Zambia, a lot of machines use elect electricity for them to run. And also the mines that we have in Copper Belt and other provinces, they depend on the same electricity. So if we won't have adequate supply of electricity, then our economic value is going to decrease because we also depend on export of copper and other minerals. So this project is also important because it offers job creation because there are people who will work during the construction and also for the maintenance of this project. Although it is economic, it is costly, we are lucky in Zambia, we already have the dams that I mentioned, the Itezitezi Dam, the Kafiwe Gorge Upper, and the Kafiwe Gorge Lower. So all we need to do is just to install the solar panel, we just find a specific, specific place where we install the solar panel. And that specific place, like they have, uh, they have told me it should be on water. They, they gave me an advice that we should install the solar panel on the water so that we reduce the cutting down of trees. Since the Kafiwe Gorge Lower, it is on a hilly mountain. So when we want to install the solar panels, they advised me that we should put them in, on top of the water. By so doing, it is more like environmental sustainability and also reducing the rate of the loss of water by evaporation. So this is a brief explanation on my project. Thank you.